week. Uh, this one blew my mind, and I'm sure you heard it too, Matt. Apparently, Amazon is working on a Spider-Man noir series. It's going to be mm. live action. Yeah, that, that, that's uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That shit's wild. And then I'm also reminded, wait, weren't you guys also working on a Silk show? What happened to yeah. the Silk show you guys were working on? Yeah, just cancel that Silk show and just do this. Yeah, just do this instead. I feel like more people would be into this. Yeah. Also, hey, I know you didn't get Nicolas Cage back for the new Spider-Verse movie, but can we get uh, live-action Nicolas Cage back for this show? <laughs> he's, he's, he's a bit too old, isn't he? I guess, but then you know what? Uh, Spider-Man Noir wears a mask, so he'll just never take it off. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Just never take it off. Or we'll, we'll do what we do with Brendan Fraser and Robot Man. He just provides the voice. Mm, mm. He'll just do the voice. That'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I like to burn matches and let them burn down to my fingertips just so I can feel something. <laughs> the wind and it smells like rain. I just want more isms like that. <laughs> That's my question, too. If we do get a Spider-Man noir show, are they going to play it for laughs like Spider-Verse did, a.k.a. the version that most people are probably aware of now because of the animated movie? Or are they going to actually try and play it serious like the book? Depends who's behind it. Because if... Well, I, again, like, it, depending on who's behind it, it could be played like that movie where it's like like a sort of like parody of like, like gritty crime detectives and stuff. Or you've got people who will just like, oh, we'll just make a crime detective show, but it's like the character's like a Spider-Man. Now, here's the thing, too. Uh, you said who's going to be in charge of it. If I am not mistaken, it's still Lord Miller because they were put in charge by Sony of all of their Spider-related projects, including this. Cool, cool. So if they played him as a parody, chances are they might play him as a parody again. Also, are they going to keep the gimmick from the Spider-Verse animated movie where that world exists entirely in black and white? Or will we actually see color? Mm, that's interesting. Because, yeah. again, I think it could be very artistic if you just straight up Sin city it and only important things were in color. That would be pretty cool. I like what they I, – I kind of hope they do the, 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 the parody, but I do like that most recent Spider-Man noir series, which it was, it, it, was, it was literally just Indiana Jones. Yeah, there's a lot of fun places you can do with it, a lot of great genre spoofs and a lot of genre stuff that I think Amazon could really fill the void in because people aren't really getting it nowhere else at the moment. No, no, no. I think there's a lot of places you could go that also because it's another universe and your own Spider-Man, you can introduce your own vultures and Mysterios and Green Goblins mm. and you can do your own and, shit with it and it be completely fine and not step on the toes of anything else. Yeah, we need more like detective neo noir stuff and mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, speaking of which, I, I'm not sure, have you seen like what's been happening with like Dick Tracy recently? Like no, you know, you know, you know the, the character Dick Tracy. Yeah, of course, the yeah. famous uh, comic book yeah. serial. Yeah, so like, it, so in the nineties, they had that movie where Warren Beatty yes. played him, and Warren had to buy the rights to to make that movie, and he took his rights really? to, to to Disney and everything, and made the movie. But since then, he's owned the rights, and every couple of years, to keep a hold of the rights, he basically shits out like, like he did one, he did one just this weekend, and he did one back in two thousand and seven, two thousand and eight, mm -hmm. where like he just dresses up as dick tracy and acts in character being interviewed by richard moulton what how have like, i ever heard about ju that? just to keep a hold of the rights so no one else can make uh dick tracy related uh movies or tv shows yeah wow that i guess that answers a question why did they never try and do dick tracy yeah. again when comic books became the most dominant genre yeah. wow no i just learned about that this weekend because i actually had the thought like hey yeah why is there no like dick tracy or like things related to that and like oh well this is the reason why warren Beatty's just like holding on to those rights for dear life I mean, Christ, even the specter or the spirit got like a kick at the can. Mm, yeah. You know, why not Dick Tracy? Dick Tracy was as popular, if not arguably more popular in yeah. its day than the spirit. It's, it's the progenitor of the film noir, you know, yeah. a hard bitten detective talks to themselves, colorful villains. But no, Warren Beatty just holding on to the rights and doing Zoom calls with people from TCM. Yeah. That's crazy that you can do that. But then again, yeah. that's Hollywood. Why do you think they kept shit? out bad x-men and fantastic four movies every so often just so they could hang on to the rights yeah he's just basically doing the bare minimum that the courts will allow him to get away with just to hold these rights it's it's insane <laughs> again i'm no copyright lawyer but that seems like you shouldn't be allowed to do that i was thinking that too i was thinking there should be like a minimum like okay you need to have spent 
X amount, it needs to be in theaters for X amount of time mm -hmm. or something, or like a certain number of people need to have seen it or something. You, you, you actually managed to back into something really interesting there. The fact is, of what I do know of copyright law, yes, there are rules like that. They're just incredibly easy to cheat. Yeah, you just yeah. you just need to have it like in one theater for X amount of days. Doesn't even matter if anyone sees it. You just need to have it in one theater, and that technically counts as you tried, and you technically get to catch or get to hold on to the rights. And you're probably thinking to yourself, "Well, geez, Dick Tracy's so old. Shouldn't it have fallen into the public domain forever ago?" Yeah should have but like most things that are old like superman and mickey mouse and what have you those companies have lawyers and people who go pay lobbyists to change laws to make it so like mickey mouse should have fallen into the public domain forever ago but mm -hmm. never did because disney is able to keep paying to keep extending the copyright long past what they should have and that's that's literally what warren is doing here where he just where he's just like holding onto the rights and just making the bare minimum of like what what needs to needs to happen for him to keep those rights that's crazy huh yeah i i i, I don't know why like you wouldn't want like something like that to be a big popular thing you know yeah, like, is he a super fan? Does he care so much? Because if it was me, I'd be like, yeah, just pay me and you can use it. Honestly, from what, what I've, like, read and heard about, like, Warren B, I, it, it, it sounds like he's scared that someone's going to make, like, a better version than his. Uh, like, like, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, he, he seems like a very, like fragile person individual that's that's fucking crazy yeah well shit everyone you can't say you didn't learn something watching the show this week <laughs> <laughs> yeah i uh, just i learned about that what yesterday when someone i just saw on twitter i'm like what the fuck is this is dick tracy what it's the same guy from the 90s what <laughs> Still, uh, Pat Senior actually asked us, hey, how does splitting up the content and working for the channel? Glad you asked, Pat. Eh, not bad. Some do better than others. Obviously, our James Gunn thing, which was like 40 minutes long, which was basically a mini podcast in itself, did pretty good. Uh, no one really cared about our Ant-Man thoughts, though. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay, because that only did as bad as the podcast did when we put it up, and that was only like a couple minutes. So, you know, it didn't stink up the airwaves for too long. Yeah, but no, people really liked all that James Gunn stuff. And I had a hell of a time cutting that down, because I'm like, oh, you know. Oh, we talked forever. Yeah, I'm like, oh, it's, it's going to be like 10 minutes of stuff. It's like 40-minute, you know, uh, video I had to cut down. Yeah, it's, it's insane. Yeah, we, we could have cut that down into multiple things, too, but we didn't because we're like, fuck it, just put it all together. It's what people want anyway. But, uh, yeah, thank you, everyone, who's been watching those and checking those out. And thank you, everyone, who's been checking us out on the audio stream. Of course, if you're a patron, you get it all in one go. And you get it quicker, too, because we don't got to make a version for YouTube. When we're done, we literally try and put it up right when we're done. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 